Okay, I hope that you uh, were able to answer the last question and we're ready for our third part. Now this is a little um, sidebar in the text and it is called, Why Did God Send the Epidemic? Now, in 1918, the war was coming to a close, although people didn't know that, but something else was happening in 1918 that really affected Margaret. And here we go. One spring day in 1918, Margaret Davidson found herself at the funeral of three of her classmates. Now remember, she was only eight or nine. All from the same family. A week later, four from another family died. The Spanish influenza had struck Hamburg. Children made up all rhyme for it. I had a little bird. Its name was Enza. I opened up the window and in flew Enza. It was a mystifying plague that raced through the world, killing 20 million people in less than a year. The flu swept through the army camps of World War I, killing soldiers so fast that doctors stacked up their bodies like pieces of wood. You know how you do for the fireplace and they had those cords of wood? I mean, imagine bodies like that. Mm. Doctors couldn't see the flu virus in their microscopes because their microscopes weren't strong enough yet. And they wondered why everyone was dying. Some thought it was a German plot. With no vaccine, people stayed home, wore masks, and tried to breathe only through their noses. Nothing worked. Schools, theaters, church services, and other public gatherings were stopped in most U.S. cities. The crisis ended when the disease vanished as mystifyingly as it, has, as, as it had appeared. <laughs> 